Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Max Render Hot Tips, the show where I try and highlight some of the little tips and tricks that aren't quite so obvious in Max Render but can help you out a great deal. My name is James Common and I'm a Max Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Science Technology. In today's episode I'm going to be looking at one particular method of increasing the brightness of your backdrop. This is the scene that I'll be working with today. This is a scene that I set up for my studio lighting techniques in Max Render series. And as you can see I've got a knot on a studio backplane with lights on the left, right and at the top. And if I go to my close-up view and enable my fire engine, you can see the effect that that gives me. However, I also have a second setup in this scene which gives this result. As you can see, the backdrop is brighter and helps to emphasise that this is a pack shot style image where the product is shown on a white background with nothing else. And if I go to my perspective view, you can see what's going on in this scene. This is the top light which is providing light down onto the object, but I've also got another emitter which is angled towards the backplane. I've also made a new emitter material made it brighter than the original and applied it to this new emitter that's providing light onto the studio backplane and increasing the brightness. This helps to create an illusion of infinity as well as increase the contrast in the scene. And this extra emitter here is the only difference between the two scenes. Here's the original scene without the new emitter and here's the second scene with the new emitter added. Using a light to shine on the background and create this illusion of infinity is a real world photographic technique and it helps to create the pack shot style images which is so popular with product design. Using an emitter in this way directed straight at the studio backplane is just one method of achieving this result. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, or email me at maxwellunderbrightoncdt at gmail.com, or tweet me at jcommon underscore design. Thanks very much, I'll see you again soon.